All right, we're gonna do something a little different today. The homesteads are behind me. Here's the river. Um, there was supposedly a ferry that went along here somewhere. But I just kind of like to try to pinpoint where it went across. Not real sure. So if I can find some good stuff on the bank, then maybe I'll go out in the water. I do have my scoop with me. I don't know, we'll see. But I do have my first good signal. Although I've already lost it. Well, there it is. And it's just a regular dime. So that's the other problem. There's going to be some modern in this spot. So hopefully we can key in on the uh, good stuff, though. So I just got another dime. But hey, here's our first sign of some older stuff. It's an old jar lid. So like I said, the mission of this is just to try to find where the old stuff is. And we don't really have too many clues, except for we just know it's here somewhere. But that's a clue. That's a watch part right there. That's awesome. There's so much tin in here and stuff. So, or, you know, like pop cans. So what I'm really trying to do is I'm just looking for mostly sounds that sound smaller and deep. You know what? I end up going the opposite direction I thought it should be. What do I got here? Oh, it's just a regular quarter. So I wasn't doing any good down by the lake as far as finding old stuff. So I decided to come back up top. And I think it paid off. Oh, let me clean that up. That's got to be a vehicle. Let me check that out. Man, I worked on it and worked on it. The only thing I'm 100% sure of is there's a 7 there. I mean, it's more than likely 1907. But I think that's actually an 8. I think it's 87. I don't have my phone on me. I'm not sure if 87 is even an actual V-nickel year. But it is a V-nickel. I think I got a good one. I think I see some fancy on there. I think it says Shirley Roman. I never got one of those. Got a lot of the Shirley President. I'll have to look this one up. Be a fun thing to research tonight. Man, I got a little fancy button. Unfortunately, I'm just running out of daylight. This is an after work hunt, so. Here pretty sudden, I'm gonna have to wrap it up, but I'm sure there'll be a, another day added to this. So one aspect that you don't see in these videos is all the scouting that goes on to find these sites. Here's what's awesome. I came on this road I'd never been on before, and I found a new homestead. It was raining so bad that I went up the road and I found two more. This is actually the third one I'm about to dig right now. And I can tell this area is big, like there was a corral. So anyways, so jacked, because that means several days, several days of hunts where I've never been before. But anyways, I do have my first target. <laughs> Forgot to put my camera on, I had to go back and get it. But there's a piece of a clock. Well, that's windy. I hope that you can hear this, but I can't remember the exact name of that, but it basically goes in the handle of a, of a handsaw. It's like a handsaw medallion, I think is what they call it. It's been hard digging. Someone's been here. But I'm determined I will find stuff. That's pretty cool. Well, I got a cool little button here. And it's got a lot of fancy and words on it, but I can't read it. Even with my magnifier. I don't know. It's crazy. So I got just a glimpse. I know it's cool, though. Finally. Pays off. Yellow jacket. Man, that's a beautiful clip, guys. Man, let me clean that up just a little bit. That is awesome. I do not have one like that yet. Look at that. It's still working and everything. 
That is so ornate. Well, if you just keep working, man. Look at that. I can't believe how good a condition that's in. They're usually just destroyed. What a nice little pocket knife. Well, that's a pretty little stove part. Very cool. All right, I'm back for day two. It's crazy finding three home sites at once because I'll tell you what, I had a hard time deciding where I wanted to dig today. The one I was digging the other day, man, has been hit hard. I worked really hard for those few relics I found. This is the one that's the least obvious and this is how far away I was, and I don't know if you see that bump up there. Hopefully I'm pointing to it, right? That's all I saw, just a bump. So I thought, well, I'll walk over and check it out. And sure enough, it's a foundation up there with a cellar hole. I'll give you a close-up when I get there, but... Yeah, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do today. Uh, I guess there is a chance that I'll go back to the other one. But I'm going to hunt this one first because I think this one's got the best chance of being a virgin side. So, see what we can get. All right, see this bump? That's what I saw. And you can see this is a cellar hole. And then if you can see this pile of rocks over here, kind of in a square shape, that was the foundation of the old house. All right, see what we can get. All right, I'm right between the cellar and the foundation, first target. Rifle shell, <laughs> pretty typical. Okay, I was getting a 10 on the Equinox, and I got this little thing. That's pretty fancy. Looks like it was some sort of hair clip or something, I bet. So my first initial thought on this place is, it's been dug out. Uh, I've already covered quite a bit of the foundation and there's almost no signals. But, they always leave stuff. Let's see what we can get. Well, this person might have just been a high toner. Because there's a button. What does that say? Let me see if I can see what that says. Well, it says rip proof. Looks like it has some fabric in the back. <laughs> yeah, so that was a nine. A little two hole button. So it left me some stuff. They <laughs> definitely high-toned it, though. So there's a couple rivets in the area, or like little washers. They're coming up just like these buttons, so I see kind of how they didn't get them. But there's another one. Yeah, so let me show you an example. So I can see one of these little rivet things right on top. Right? You heard the sound? Now watch this. Right next to it. And what do we have? A little button top. It says headlight. Well, this is some sort of clip. This was sun baking right on top. It looks like there's a little fancy in there. Well, I definitely found a little bunny sp button spot. I think it says the den. D-E-N-N? -N? I don't know. Yeah, I grew to that place like crazy. There is not much there. Whoever dug that down a really good job. So I don't know if I'm going to go to the other side I haven't been to or go finish the one that I started the other night. But man, nothing like having a hot burger out right here on the mountain. I guess you get one of these. They're awesome. A little flat top. You can do eggs, hash browns, all kinds of stuff. Hey, I got a bottle here. Is it going to be whole? Oh, 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 look at that one. Heck yeah. I never find whole bottles. That one's beautiful. Is there anything on the bottom? Clean the sucker up a little. It says packed Cal Pack Core. There's a nail in the bottom. <laughs> awesome. I don't think I've shown you anything but the bottle. 
I think I've been here an hour and a half, two hours, just digging, digging, digging. This is, <laughs> I mean, the bottle's awesome. And of course I love any kind of little relic like this, but man, this is tough. I mean, there's some stuff to dig, but it just all seems to be trash, everything that's left. But they had to miss something good here. Well, I'm thinking that's the top to an old uh, bed frame. Well, that sure sounded good. All right, so now it's raining. Um, it's been drizzling all day. So I walked all over. There's like a huge field. The actual home site's clear over there. But I noticed over here a bunch of wood, and I think this used to be the corral. And look at that. I got a coin. <laughs> Modern. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's the day I'm having. Well, sure is good to be out, though. Well, guys, that was a rough ride out of there. Once this rain came, I mean, this part of the road's great, but, man, back in there, it turned into a slip and slide. That was like straight clay. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the hunt. <laughs> Sometimes it's just a struggle. Um... You know, you don't nail it every time, but it's always good to get out.